Please welcome Acting Secretary of Commerce, Cam Carey, Ms. Penny Pritzker, and the Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden. Please be seated. So to my friends and colleagues at the Department of Commerce, uh, good afternoon. To all of our guests, uh, welcome to the Department of Commerce. Uh, it's been my honor for a short season to, uh, to lead uh, this department. And there is such extraordinary work that, that goes on here, from uh, you know, world-class science that uh, you know, can predict uh, uh, a tornado uh, minutes before it touches the ground and can uh, uh, forecast the track of Hurricane Sandy uh, days uh, before it makes uh, landfall to, um, you know, nanotechnology and Nobel Prize winning uh, work on quantum physics you know, to work uh, uh, promoting uh, trade deals and investments uh, around the world uh, and you know, leading uh, in creating the foundations uh, for, uh, for innovation, uh, for economic growth with the patent and trademark system, with uh, work on standards, uh, uh, with um, uh, leading uh, new innovation clusters, uh, um, spectrum, uh, internet uh, policy and governance, uh, um, and you know, data uh, that tells us uh, essential information about uh, our population and our economy. So you know, this work is, is truly remarkable. So I want to thank everyone here for, uh, for what you do uh, for uh, our country uh, and for our, our future. Uh, come on, give yourselves a hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as we have had the opportunity to work with Penny Pritzker, uh, I have seen how she understands the value of this work, not just from the study uh, that, that she has done, but you know, from her own work uh, in startup businesses and in Fortune uh, 500 companies. Um, she is going to be a great champion for the Department of Commerce. And Vice President Biden uh, honors us uh, today and honors uh, Penny Pritzker uh, with his presence. Uh, he's been a great friend to the Department of Commerce, uh, uh, evidenced uh, maybe best of all by his uh, sending his niece, Missy Owens, uh, uh, to work here for Becky Blank when she was the Deputy Secretary. And I think everybody knows what family means to the Bidens, so uh, sending Missy here is like sending his own daughter. Um, so, Mr. Vice President, uh, uh, let me say to you that uh, thanks in no small measure to the support uh, from the White House for the basic mission of, uh, of economic growth and job creation uh, uh, and innovation uh, that this department uh, is stronger today uh, than it was four years ago. And And it will be stronger still with Penny Pritzker at its head. Uh, so it's with great pleasure uh, and with great uh, anticipation for what lies ahead uh, uh, that uh, uh, we welcome you here today to swear in uh, Penny Pritzker as the 38th Secretary of Commerce. Mr. Vice President. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the things I'll be able to tell my grandchildren 
and, God willing, my great-grandchildren, is I served an administration with two carries in the cabinet. <laughs> Speaking of family, this guy's been my friend for a long, long time. And I told him, really, a long time ago when we were working on John's campaign, he is capable of holding any job, any job in any administration. We're lucky you did this for us. Thank you very Thanks much. Us. Thank you. Thank you. You know, what Cam just described is um, not only the breadth and depth of the uh, mandate of the Department of Commerce, but the potential for this department even to grow in its dynamism. Uh, I predict to you that uh, um, 20 years from now, uh, the Commerce Department will be the department that is the uh, is sort of the economic engine and heart of uh, the uh, administrative enterprise in trying to uh, promote labor and business in this country. And, uh, Doc, uh, I think that, uh, um, that the uh, Senator Rockefeller described your wife best when he said, she is a force of nature. <laughs> this woman is a force of nature. Penny's been my friend for a while, and as we turned the corner, I said, Penny, you're getting the right, you're getting your hands on the right wheel here. Your dynamism, your optimism, and your sense of anything can get done if you put your mind to it is what this department needs most of all. Because you have the talent. You have the raw talent that's here. Around, Cam stole part of my speech in that it is the wide spectrum of capacity that exists here. And I know of no man or woman with whom I've been engaged in the last 20 years who has a greater sense of the capacity of this country and the role of this outfit than Penny Pritzker. Uh, you know, uh, as I've said, and I won't go into my formal comments because Cam said it better, but um, uh, your role is uh, increasingly more important. The globalization of the world, the nature of the competition, and one of the things that many things that Penny and I agree on is that um, uh, we are better positioned than any nation in the world. I mean, by a long shot. Don and Rose can probably tell you that. But literally, think about it. Any other place in the world would you rather be in order to be able to capture the essence and growth and the dynamism of the 21st century? Penny, I'm often referred to, as you've observed, since you've had such a close relationship with, with the President and with so many of us, that I'm always referred to as the White House optimist. As my grandfather Ambrose Finnegan would say, like, I fell off the turnip truck yesterday. <laughs> I like it because it makes the outside world think, well, maybe he's the new guy. But I've been there longer than all of them. I'm optimistic for a reason. Part of the reason is the folks I'm looking at. Part of the reason is I know the history, the journey of this country. And part of the reason is all you have to do is take an object objective look around the world. And whatever problems we have, they literally pale in comparison to our closest competitors. We want them all to succeed. It's in our interest. Penny was, uh, was in China. Um, I. Uh, I made the comment that uh, we welcome, and I really mean this, we welcome the competition in the wake-up call about six years ago. We want to see China. We want to see Europe grow, because we can outcompete anybody. No, I mean this sincerely. I would note parenthetically, one of the reasons we can outcompete anybody is the kind of thing we're doing right now in the Senate, and that is passing the immigration bill. 
because we constantly have new blood, new innovation, new excitement. And so um, I really can't think of anybody, and I mean literally anybody, who is better suited to take over this department at this moment. So, Penny, what I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to make this official official. We sign the papers in the back before you can change your mind. <laughs> before you can change your mind. I'd like to make this official. And what I'm going to do is walk over here, and I understand that Doc's going to hold, uh, hold the Bible, and I'm going to administer the oath with your children looking on so the whole world knows you're in for real. Okay? Excellent. All right. Yeah. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. That I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. The duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, <laughs> Madam Secretary. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Vice President, thank you for doing the department the honor of swearing me in. Snuck on this side. <laughs> there you are. We've known each other for almost 25 years, and I never in my life dreamed that we might one day be here. I'm truly honored by your presence and this opportunity. Cam, Thank you for stepping up and doing such a great job of leading this department so seamlessly these past few weeks. And even though she's not here today, I also want to acknowledge Dr. Rebecca Blank, who led the department twice as acting secretary, including over the past year. I have come to appreciate what a terrific steward and leader she has been for all of us. And of course, And of course, I want to thank my family for their patience, their senses of humor, and their unwavering support, my husband Brian and our two children, Don and Rose. Perhaps most, thank you. <laughs> they deserve it. They definitely deserve it. Perhaps most importantly, I want to thank all of you, the men and women of the Commerce Department. You have shown me much kindness over the past several weeks, and I look forward to meeting many more of you in the days ahead. I am absolutely thrilled and honored to be your new secretary. So let me be very clear. I am all in. My full focus, my attention, and my commitment is here. I'm moving to DC. This will be home for me. I have found a few running trails and even a swimming pool so I can train. And I'm sure very soon I will figure out uh, the biking routes here. So maybe some of you, if you have advice about biking, you could you know, pass it along to me. But more importantly, I'm also going to ask for your advice on how we can advance our mission here at the Commerce Department. For starters, I'm going to be visible around this building in the days ahead. 
I'm also going to visit some of our facilities in the area. I want to learn how I can help everyone do the best possible job. And after all, I know that all of us at the Commerce Department want to succeed on behalf of the American people and American businesses. I want to hear your ideas. I want to learn from you. And I want to meet as many of you as I can. So please introduce yourself. Also, stay tuned for new ways that I'm going to reach out to get your input. We're already working on a plan to strengthen two-way communication, which is so important. As well, I'll be going across the country to listen to our stakeholders and to business leaders. I want to play an active and vital and visible role, just like each of you do, in helping businesses create jobs. I hope that you know just how strongly I feel about coming here. Like many of you, I have felt a strong call to public service for much of my life. I'm here because I want to serve the nation. I want to give back because America has, been, has given me and my family so many opportunities over many years. And I'm excited to be here at this unique moment in our nation's history. The work you're doing right now, as the Vice President said, the work you're doing right now is helping to build a stronger foundation for American business to succeed. You provide data for businesses to make smart decisions. You help drive innovation through your work in manufacturing, patents, and more. And you prove each day that made in America remains number one. While I still have a great deal to learn, I do know this. You are the people on the front lines. You protect, promote, and anticipate what America needs to be competitive and innovative in the 21st century. So I'm going to go to work each day, 24-7, to make sure that everyone knows the great work you are doing here in DC, across the country, and around the world. And I hope you'll join me in making sure that we get this important message out. America is open for business. So thank you. It's an honor to serve with you. Congratulations. Thank you.